Hey there, this is Dr. Justin Marcajani, and today's talk is going to be on antibiotics and gut infections. So I work with many, many patients, and we are diagnosing and finding different infections all the time. And the question is, are antibiotics a right choice for you? And for some infections that are serious, sometimes antibiotics may be a good choice. It may be. But let's just talk about some of the deleterious side effects and why those side effects are there and why, in my opinion, I have a natural bias towards antimicrobial medicines, herbal medicines, and we'll talk about some of the benefits that we have in that arena. So antibiotics and gut infections. One of the phenomenon that bacteria, these specific infections have, is they have these things known as efflux pumps. These efflux pumps right here, they actually pump the medication. So here's the antibiotic right here. It's coming into the cell like so, and here are the metabolites in the, of the antibiotic right here. And what's happening is they're being pushed out by these efflux pumps. So right here, this is known as an efflux pump. And these various critters have these pumps, and it literally takes all of these antibiotics and pushes it back into the extracellular space or back in the gut or wherever that infection specifically is. So the analogy I always give people is this. Imagine you're in a canoe, and that canoe has a hole in it, and the canoe starts bailing on water, so water keeps on springing up. Now, your natural response, if you're in the canoe, would be to grab a bucket and bail water back out into the water. So our goal here is to take our bucket and to bail water back out into the ocean, right? So we have water coming up in the hole. It's coming on the boat. We use our bucket here to put it back in the, in the ocean. That's our goal. Now the efflux pumps are equivalent or very similar, I would say, to the bucket. The bucket is used to shoot the water that shouldn't be there back into the water. Same thing here. The bacteria knows that these drugs aren't good for it, so it's taking it just like you would shoot water from your canoe back into the ocean. It's shooting the antibiotic back out into the intestinal tract where it thinks it belongs. So the same kind of thing. So what we're doing here with the efflux pumps, our goal is to actually inhibit them. Because the goal is we want to kill the bacteria, so we want the bacteria taking on, whether it's the drug or taking on the antimicrobial, so it so-called sinks or gets killed. And the same thing with the canoe, right? If our goal is to take down the canoe, if the canoe is analogous to the bacteria, beep or bacteria, we want that canoe to take on water faster. So knocking out the person with the bucket so the canoe takes on water faster is really the goal. Now the question I have for you is how can we block the efflux pumps? When I create specific protocols to address some of these infections, that's what we actually have first and foremost in mind. There's a family of herbs called berberines. I'm going to write that out here. And in that berberine family, some of my favorite herbs lie. So one of those herbs would be golden seal. Golden seal is an awesome herb. Another one would be organ, organ grape. And another one would be barberry. Now what these herbs actually do, what they all have in common, especially golden seal, this is my favorite right here, they actually have efflux inhibiting properties. They've used them in cancer medications. They've used them in many other um, infection treatment plans, and they actually block the efflux pump. So right in this area here, it's knocking out that efflux pump. And actually, if you're going to use an antibiotic, you're much better off using the antibiotic with at least a gram of golden seal to block that efflux pump, and that will prevent the critter or the bacteria from shooting the antibiotics back out into the extracellular fluid or into the gut. So again, you're much better off if you are going to use antibiotics to combine the herbs with it. I personally find if we combine a combination of berberines and other herbs together, we're going to get a far superior result, especially if the patient's relatively in good health, we're making diet changes, we're fixing the immune system by doing all these lifestyle things, they're automatically going to have a better chance to respond to the herbs. So natural ways to address the infection. So one is we use a local gut killer. And my local gut killers would be like the golden seal. So that's my local killer. 
We'd also want systemic killers. So now that we have local on board, having a systemic killer is actually the way to go. A systemic killer would be, in other words, like artemisia or wormwood. It actually gets in the blood and actually has a systemic effect on the body killing. Now, wormwood or artemisia and berberines actually have a synergistic effect where the artemisia or the golden seal, I should say, actually makes the artemisia stronger which is a really good quality. So if we use these herbs synergistically, we have an excellent effect. Another killer is we add one more specific herb in there that's, that's specific to the infection. So if we have a virus going on, we may use silver. If we have a specific um, infection, maybe a Lyme's co-infection, we may use neem or noni. And if we have a more of a gut bacterial issue, we may choose oil of oregano. So depending on the infection is really how we're going to create that herbal cocktail. And again, efflux pumps really are the problem, and that's why a lot of antibiotics have side effects. And most antibiotic protocols are only about 10 to 14 days. So when we use a natural antimicrobial program, we can actually have that program out 60 to 90 days, and we can slowly break down this whole efflux pump system that way as well. And how we're blocking it, we're using specific herbs like the golden seal, and the natural ways to address the infections are stacking some of these synergistic herbs together, like I mentioned. Again, my bias is towards the natural herbs, but antibiotics with certain infections can be, can be beneficial. My goal is to always try to save the antibiotics to absolute last resort and use Mother Nature first and foremost. So this is Dr. Justin here signing off. If you have a gut infection or a tough to, tough to remove parasite or H. pylori infection or viral infection, feel free and reach out. These critters are common blocks to prevent you from healing and they keep your gut leaky. So reach out if you have any issues. My information's all below. Thanks and have a great day.